Hello, and welcome to an instructional video on how to connect your Mac computer to your newly created Summit Hosting server. To get things started, open up your welcome email that was sent to you by one of our engineers at Summit Hosting. This welcome email should contain all the information you need in order to get started and connect your Mac to your newly created Summit Hosting server. Once you've located your welcome email, the next step will be to download the RDP file sent as an attachment. This RDP file will be specifically named for your company and your server that was newly created. To download it, simply click it. Once it's been clicked and downloaded, it will go to your downloads folder on your Mac. After this, the next step will be to go to Microsoft Remote Desktop. If you do not have this application, you will need to download it from the Mac App Store. In order to find it in the App Store, go to the search bar in the top right hand corner and search for Microsoft Remote Desktop 10. Once you find it, download and install the latest version. Upon launching the application, you may see a different screen than what you see here. Click the option of Not Now, and once you do so, you should be brought to this window. Once you see this window, it's time to import your recently downloaded RDP file. In order to do so, click on Connections in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Click on Import Desktops. Navigate to your Downloads folder, select your RDP file, and click Import. At this point, you should have your RDP file in Microsoft Remote Desktop, and it's time to update the user settings. Go to the gear in the upper left-hand corner and click the drop-down. Select Preferences, and then go to the User Accounts tab. It should also be noted that once you change your password on the server upon first login, you will have to go back into this tab and change your password to the updated password. Once in the User Accounts tab, click on Summit Hosting Backslash and enter the username at the end of Summit Hosting Backslash that was provided in your welcome email. Enter your password that was also provided in the welcome email and then in the Friendly Name field, call it Summit Hosting. Next, click the Gateways tab and click on the gateway in the left-hand panel. There's no need to change the gateway name here as that's already been established for you. Click the User Accounts drop-down and select Summit Hosting. For a friendly name, put Summit Hosting here as well. Once that's done, click on the General tab, and then you can go ahead and close that window. At this point, the final step is to hover over your RDP connection in Microsoft Remote Desktop. Click the pencil in the bottom right-hand corner. Do not change the PC name in this window, but you can change the friendly name to your company name if you'd like. The next step is to go to the Local Resources tab. You will see in this window that folders, printers, smart cards, and your clipboard for copy and paste are already set to redirect for you. If you'd like to add a folder from your local machine in order to transfer files to and from the server, click the plus in the bottom left hand corner of this window. Here, you can navigate to the folder that you'd like to redirect, and then click on Open. Click Save, and at this point, it's time to try connecting to your server. In order to connect, it's as simple as just double-clicking on your RDP connection within Microsoft Remote Desktop. Upon first login, you'll be prompted with this screen. Click on Show Certificate, and then click on Always Trust. Click on Continue, and you will be prompted for your local admin password. Enter this password, and then click on Update Settings. Once a connection has been established, you may be prompted with a Duo notification if you signed up for two-factor authentication when logging into your server. A push notification will be sent to your mobile device and you can approve the login. If you did not sign up for two-factor authentication, this screen will not appear and you will be logged directly into your server. Congratulations! You made it through this instructional video and connected your Mac to your newly created Summit Hosting server. Thank you for choosing Summit Hosting for your managed cloud solutions and have a great rest of your day.